Hey guys, Dr. Heimlich here, and uh, a lot of the patients uh, who come in uh, seem to be a little bit confused, so I decided to make a little video to put out there, so that way they could see it on their website before they came in, or for some people out there, I'm, I'm sure, are having the same type of questions. They're a little confused when they come in. Uh, they're on their, uh, uh, their different medications, Synthroid, Armour, Nat Nature Thyroid, whatever it is, and uh, when they'll come in here and I'll ask them, uh, when were you diagnosed with... Uh, uh, you know, low thyroid symptoms, so we can kind of take a look and see, you know, how far back has it been from when they had the symptoms to whenever they had the diagnosis, and then they were given uh, medications, because that way it gives us a timeline, because as you know, the majority of people that have low thyroid have Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and that way we can kind of see, you know, how many years has it been that the thyroid's been attacked and destroyed. Um, but they'll come in and they're confused. They're, uh, they'll say, well, my, uh, I think I have uh, hyperthyroid. And then I'll ask, well, if you're hyperthyroid, why are you taking thyroid medications? Well, because my TSH, I think, was really elevated. Well, the TSH is what's called inversely proportionate to what's going on with your thyroid function. So if you have a high TSH, that means your thyroid is functioning low, at a low rate. Okay, So low thyroid symptoms or hypothyroidism is associated with a high TSH. Now, once you start taking medications, then that will change, of course, because the medications will take your TSH and bring it down lower. Okay, so, so that's the thing to remember here is your TSH is high. That means you have a low-functioning thyroid. And again, majority of the time, that's due to an autoimmune type of condition, and the medication is just a small, small piece of the puzzle as to what's going on with your body. They will also get confused and say, well, my doctor is uh, doing a complete thyroid panel. They took a look at the uh, free T3 or free T3 and free T4. Uh, the free T3 and free T4 is, there's a difference between free and total. Okay, so you have T3, which is what we call the active form of your thyroid hormone. It's the one that gets the job done. And T4 is what gets turned into T3. So T4, you really can't use it. If the T4 or the T3 is what's called bound by a protein, then it's called total. But if whenever that protein breaks off and the thyroid is, hormone is ready to do its job, that's called free. And why it breaks off, we don't know. Scientists aren't sure why, and it's not sure why it knows to go to the cells that it does. I guess that's one thing that we'll be trying to figure out as a, in the future, but... The point of that is, is you have a bunch of different confusing things. You have free T3, free T4, total T3, total T4, reverse T3, uh, T3 uptake, um, you know, thyroid antibodies uh, for Graves and for Hashimoto's and the TSH. It all sounds like a big garbly goo, I know. Um, but you need to find a doctor who can tether all those out, do the test on you, see exactly what's going on, and then explain to you what, what you have going on. Are you having a problem with converting T4 to T3? Or do you have enough of those little uh, taxi cabs, if you will, to get the, get the um, hormone where it needs to go? Or are you having a problem where the pituitary isn't doing what it's supposed to, talking to the hypothalamus, and then you've got a problem with, uh, with the thyroid because of that when it's not really a thyroid problem? So there's a lot of different things that go on, and that's... To tether all that out takes some time, and you have to keep up with the research and, and see what's going on with that stuff. So that's why um, thyroid disorders themselves tend to be one of the uh, most mismanaged um, health conditions out there. So find a doctor who understands all that stuff and can tether it out for you, uh, because you really shouldn't have to do all that work yourself. You should be able to go in to a physician and have them explain that type of stuff to you, and uh, able to get your body to help heal itself back up the way it was designed to. I'm Dr. Heimlich. Thank you.